Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. After previously seeing how the 2020 iPad might look like, we are going to take a look at how the iPhone SE 2 will look like. We have the first leaked images of how it might look like from the source on leaks. We have been hearing a lot about it in the past few days, but we only knew that the design would be similar to the one of the iPhone 8. OnLeaks has been leaking a lot lately and is beginning to get a very, very good track record. Today, he shared the iPhone SE 2 or the iPhone 9, whichever name it will be. Some sources say that it will be the iPhone 9 and I'm starting to like it. It will make it feel more unique than if it was just iPhone SE 2. At first glance, it looks completely identical to the iPhone 8, but it isn't exactly the same. The device will be thicker, which might make the battery bigger and the performance much better, but we have no news about the battery. Apple did a similar thing on the iPhone 11 series where it is a little bit thicker, adding battery life and better performance. So does this mean that we could see this in the iPhone SE? Maybe, maybe not. It will have an A13 chip at a price of $400 instead of getting the A13 with a $1,000 plus iPhone 11. On the back of the iPhone, we can see that the glass looks frosted and OnLeak says that it will be so that there is a difference between the iPhone 8 and the SE 2. However, now we have the iPhone 11 Pro with frosted glass, which makes it unlikely to happen on a cheaper iPhone. Apple will most likely include wireless charging with the new iPhone SE because of its glass back. Now, how will the cameras change on the new iPhone? On the front, it will most likely either remain the same or between five to six megapixels compared to eight or 12 on the iPhone 11. On the back, we could see a very good camera at about 12 megapixels, but with only a single lens. In terms of megapixels, it'll be pretty much the same as on the iPhone 11, except it will have only one lens, making it a lower end camera with not so much functionality. With all these changes, I think that this $400 phone will be worth it in every way. Of course, the headphone jack will be going away and not coming back. Sorry about that. Regarding the buttons, nothing will really change on the iPhone. And of course, you will still have the home button. You will still have Touch ID, a lightning port, and other similarities to the iPhone 8. Most of the changes will be internal, but there will be some on the outside, but we don't know much about that. Now, when should we be seeing this new phone? Most likely March, as many of the sources are starting to agree with each other and are starting to say the same thing. Well, this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, then please leave a like and subscribe as it helps me out tremendously. Also, if you forgot to watch my previous video, then please click the card shown up here. Okay, take care, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.